Hello people, my name is Avery Miller, and I guess you guys want me to talk about a Pokemon game. But what's better than a Pokemon game? A hacked bootleg Pokemon game. So. It's come to this. This game is known as Pokemon Diamond, and is famous for having really bad translations, and was featured in the Pokemon Bootleg Jontron episode that came out a few years ago. Oh, and by the way, this whole game is a glitch. While booting up, hold the A, B, Start, and Select buttons at the same time, and the game will crash. This would typically reset a Game Boy game to factory settings, but the bootleggers who made this game didn't program this, I guess. If you go into the menu and click Prop without having any items yet, the game will also crash. If you press the B button rapidly sometimes, the game will crash. After saving, if you try to open your save file back up, your game will crash. Or at least, mine did. These are less glitches and more just bad programming. So you know how in most Pokemon games you can only encounter other Pokemon while in the grass? Well in this game, you can encounter another Pokemon anywhere. Do you know what this means? Will. It. Random encounter. Are there random encounters there? Are there any there? Are there any there? Decide time. Oh, it's dangerous up here. Only one man can fly it. Beck found it. Damn it, he's nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna go. S I'm gonna sit back and think about my life. <laughs> You know, I have a bit of a theory here. You remember that Charlie Sheen interview from a few years ago? Well, I think it was staged, and the guy who was operating the teleprompter accidentally showed screenshots of this horribly, horribly translated game. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Um. Shoot, that was actually a bit of a stretch. Have I talked about the origins of this game yet? It's a hacked version of a ripped off Pokemon game from Japan. It's telephone based, so instead of capturing a Pokemon, it gives you its phone number. Yeah, it serves me right. I'll get a girl's phone number and I won't be able to put it into my phone book because it's full of Pokemon! By the way, uh, your character is named Beck by default, or, or Beak, or B. If you're playing on a black and white Game Boy, the start screen will be invisible until you click the start button. The menu text will also be darker than it was in the original unbootlegged game. Remember decide time? Well, it's it's a clock, but in addition to being able to set the time to 0000, zero, zero, zero the clock actually runs 20% faster than a normal clock would. Maybe time is just faster in Electric Monsters World. I mean, that would be People who made this game. I know you're out there. And I'm not here to tell you the future. I'm here to tell you how it will begin. I'm going to hang up this phone. And then I'm going to show these people stuff that's spelled in English. Correctly. A world you can actually understand. A world without this game. And where we go from there? That's up to you.